And here's what you need to know to start your day. There will not be a curfew in the city of Chico during a power shutoff, at least for now. However, the Chico City Council is still considering this proposal and has formed a committee to explore how a PG&E fire safety power shutoff would affect the community. Police Chief Michael O'Brien presented the curfew plan at Tuesday night's meeting. He says a curfew would help keep people safe. Chico police have arrested a man after chasing him down. They say a chase started with Jordan Tapp when they spotted him driving late Tuesday night in the area of Humboldt Avenue and Bartlett Street. The truck crashed near the intersection of East 20th Street and C Street. Police say Tapp took off running, but after a short chase, officers found him, and authorities say Tapps was wanted for a parole violation. The truck he was driving was stolen. We are learning more about the suspect in the Gilroy Festival shooting and what he may have been planning next. The FBI says investigators found that the shooter had drawn up a list of potential targets, federal buildings, courthouses, churches, and political organizations, both conservative and liberal. Agents say leading up to the shooting, the shooter was exploring a mix of different violent beliefs. The president's campaign and the Republican Party are suing California over a new state law requiring presidential candidates to file five years of their tax returns. That is, if the candidate wants to be listed on the state's primary ballot. Governor Newsom signed that law last week. And today, President Trump is visiting Dayton, Ohio, and then El Paso, Texas, the two communities grieving from this weekend's mass shootings, which killed more than 30 people. This comes as the president has been under fire for divisive language and anti-immigrant rhetoric. The mayors of Dayton and El Paso have both refused to meet with the president during his visits.